welcome to Making Food Monday again. Today, we are gonna make some ribs. For our rib recipe, we are going to be using St. Louis style pork spare ribs. We're also gonna be roasting some potatoes with it so that we have a full meal when we are finished. I'm using my very favorite rib rub, which is in my makeshift container here because that's actually Bobby Flay's recipe that I've just put in my shaker. Uh, I've got some brown sugar, I've got some honey, I've got an onion, I've got garlic, I've got mustard and ketchup and apple cider vinegar. You might have already guessed, yes, I am making my own barbecue sauce with these ribs, which should be amazing. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm going to put everything that I need to make my barbecue sauce into this bowl. Everything in. Well, that didn't work. That's just the onion. Okay, so I've only used half of my onion because my recipe says to use a medium onion and all I had was a large onion. So I've only used half of it. I have minced it pretty small. Now I'll show you what really goes in that sauce. So to my half an onion that I've got minced, I'm going to add three cloves of garlic. And that would be three half teaspoons here. So three half teaspoons of garlic. I'm also going to add a cup of ketchup. I'm not using anything fancy, just ketchup. Cup of ketchup. I'm adding half a cup of water. I've got one quarter cup of honey. Now this is raw unfiltered honey because that's what we have. You might have honey that looks a little different than this. That's okay too. Just use what you have. There we are. A tablespoon of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. tablespoons of mustard. Now I've read that this actually is better if you use Dijon mustard, but in the spirit of use what you have, I have regular mustard. One, two. Okay guys, now we're just gonna stir that up. And that's gonna be our barbecue sauce. The last step for making this barbecue sauce is to add a couple of drops of liquid smoke. Now the liquid smoke that I have is the mesquite flavor. You can use any flavor that you like. So just a couple of drops of that. There we go. And that'll give it a nice smoky barbecue sauce flavor. Mm, I can already smell the smokiness in there. It smells really good. Okay guys, now we're ready. And now we're to the important stuff. We have to open this package. So what I'm gonna do is just take my scissors, I'm gonna cut along the back of it, and then I'm gonna take it over to the sink and drain the juice out. I've got my ribs back over here. I've, I think I have removed the membrane. I'm not really sure if this was the membrane on this piece or not, because I don't know what I'm doing. I just read that you are supposed to remove the membrane, so I just kinda went with it. Okay, now I'm gonna take my rib rub, and I'm gonna season these guys up really good. I like to generously coat my ribs. We usually do boneless ribs, which is why I already kind of know how to do ribs, but we have not done this particular kind of ribs with the bones in them. So this is how I prepare my boneless ribs, and I'm just gonna kind of follow that same idea while preparing these. Okay guys, it's time for the pot. That's our favorite part, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our barbecue sauce that we already made, we're gonna put that right in the bottom of the pot. Boop, right at the bottom, there we go. And then we're gonna take our ribs and we're just gonna line them up. We're gonna stand them up in the middle and kind of have them hug the edges. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. But why we're gonna do that is because we want them standing up so that all of them will fit in the pot. And that's just how I've seen some other people do it. So I'm gonna do it that way too. Again, I've never done this, so I'm just kind of hoping that it'll work. Okay, so you might be wondering, what do I mean by stand them up? This is exactly what I mean. I'm gonna take the ribs and I'm going to just stand them up in the pot, just like that. And then I'm gonna stand them up the other way. 
that extra one, I'm just going to freeze it. I'm just gonna plop potatoes in the middle so that we can have some potatoes with our dinner. And that is all that's going in there, my friends. We are not putting anything else in there. Okay guys, time to seal our pot. <laughs> Find my latch, put my lid down. Oh, you guys see, I did it again. You have to plug it in. Don't work unless you plug it in. Okay, so plug that in. Then all I've gotta do is seal it up. Push my chicken button, and it says that if you want it to fall off the bone, you should add more time. So I'm going to do 22 minutes, and then after, I'm gonna push start. After it comes to pressure, when it comes through its 22 minutes, I'm gonna let it naturally pressure release. So I'm just gonna leave it sitting there until this handy dandy button falls down on its own after the time is done. With these ribs, you can either uh, finish them in the oven so that they get a nice, you know, charred, um, caramelized barbecue sauce, or you can put them on the grill to finish them. And either way, it's gonna give it that yummy flavor, but without all the time needed to make this kind of ribs. So that's why these are super awesome, is that they're going to be done super fast. So while that's cooking, these two have asked me to come out here and see what they're doing. They have a contest I need to judge, is that right? Mm -hmm. So, the contest is, so mom gave us both half a bucket of water. We used a little bit to water our trees, and then we used the rest and put like mud and dirt and stuff inside these bowls. And now we're asking mom if she can judge. What, what am I supposed to be judging? Judging which one's the most gross. Which one's the grossest? Well, yep. Malia wins. Look at me, see me, let me see your hands. I don't know and which bucket course. wins, but look at this. You are covered, dude. <laughs> dude. Ugh. Playing in the mud is not my favorite game. At least I use... Alright, let me see. At least I use sticks We got dirt. some pretty thick, gooey, and look, muddy dirt. Look. Yeah, I see. That's mm -hmm. all mud oh, jokes. Wow, that's lovely. Go. And then over here we've got... A waterier, soupier it, it looking. Looks, it looks stuff. grosser when when I'm mixing it. Nope, I think it looks grosser when it's just sitting there. Then I better do it counterclockwise, I can use. All right, I'm ready to judge. Malia, she's ready to judge. <laughs> Malia wins based on how gross she is. Malia's is thicker, Jordan's is grosser. So I declare a tie. Ooh. Gross. Hey guys, my pin just dropped. It's time to open this up and take a look at our ribs. So the next step is to get these babies out of here and get them over here so that dad can put them on the grill. So, I've got my trusty tongs. I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's try. The baby now? I need the baby. Yep, I need the babies out. <laughs> here we go. Watch the drips, guys. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> there we go. There's one. Ah, oh, they're gonna fall off the bone. Turn over here. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Over they go. Ah, oh, they're falling off the bone. Oh. Well, that's a good sign. That means they're <laughs> super tender. How are you gonna grill it? Sorry. That's <laughs> why they're called fall off the bone. They are called fall off the bone, and they did literally fall off the bone. So good luck grilling that. But here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull the potatoes out as well because clearly we don't need them in the sauce. And then I'm going to turn this back on and I'm going to reduce this sauce. So I'm gonna turn it on to sear roast, start it and let that start to reduce down a little bit so that we get, end up with a barbecue sauce instead of some water. Okay guys, I've got this boiling. I'm just reducing it down so it makes a nice thick sauce, or a thicker sauce. I'm not sure exactly how thick it's gonna get, but I'm gonna keep reducing it until I'm happy with it. That's all I'm doing is boiling it, trying to get some of the water, the, the liquid boiled out so it'll be thicker. 
Okay guys, those potatoes that I pulled out of the pot, I've topped with some Johnny's garlic spread. I picked this up at Costco, in case you're wondering. So this gar Johnny's garlic spread has been put on the potatoes and topped with cheese, and I'm gonna finish these in the oven just under the broil so that the cheese will melt, and that's gonna be our accompaniment to our ribs. So all I'm doing is trying to get some of the oil off the top of this sauce. Now that I've reduced it a little bit, I'm gonna put it in here and then dump it out. So all I'm trying to do is get the oil off the top. It says in my recipe that you can use an oil separator, but I don't have one of those. So I just thought I would try to take some of the oil off the top. It won't be perfect, but you know, it'll be a little bit less than it would have been. Okay, so these are going out on the grill with our homemade barbecue sauce. Daddy's going to apply liberally the sauce with this cool paintbrush. All right, let's go get these on the grill. Get them finished. Mm, run over it. Put sauce on the other side. Put that baby caramelized. And in about 10 minutes, not even that, probably five minutes, we'll yeah. be ready for dinner. Who the heck? Um, okay, I know I've said this over and over again about my pressure cooker, but I'm gonna say it again. One thing that I love about my pressure cooker is that I can turn my food on, I can go judge a mud making contest, I can get those kids that are all muddy bathed and cleaned up and be ready in time to taste dinner. That's pretty amazing. I love that it's so low maintenance cooking. This is the best reason for me to have this machine is because it's so easy. That being said, dinner is plated. Now all I need More like slow pokey. Guinea pigs. Slow I'm a hungry guinea pig. Okay, Mia claimed first taste. Ready? Sit. Go. That's not the applesauce, you goober face. Taste some meat, taste some potato, taste something good. Not with your spoon, goober face. They're finger foods. Mm. Potato good. Okay, taste some meat. Oh, follow the bone. Follow the bone, yeah. No way. <laughs> Hair, yum. I can't wait to try it. So, what do we think? cheese off the top in one bite. <laughs> no potatoes? This is not fall off the bone. Aww. Maybe it's pull the bone out. <laughs> ah, I can't pull the bone out. Aww, man, I failed. Forget it. Never making this again. Ugh, I'm fired. No, you're not. <laughs> taste it. Okay, I get it. Just pull the whole thing up to your face and taste it. take a bite. No. Good enough. Is it good? <laughs> Spaz. All right, let's see, Dad. Well, just like everybody else. Try it, Gilly. Ooh, yummy. Let's see, pull off the bone. Hey, yeah. pull off one bone. Two bones. Yeah. Oh, they will fall off all of them. Daddy got a big old brontosaurus stick over there. <laughs> So Daddy is skeptical because Daddy thinks that ribs cannot be done in a pressure cooker but have to be on the grill all day. So what's the verdict, Dad? Are you sold or do you stick to your guns? You got me, pressure cooker. <laughs> really good thing. That barbecue sauce, mm. it's not like super sweet, like sweetness. No, it's just like sweet but 
tangy and mm, mm. it's good. It's a perfect. Oh, How many that... thumbs do I get? <laughs> okay, mm. what about over here? Did you taste it? He's having applesauce and chicken nuggets. Wah, wah. Do you want to taste some oh, ribs? Tasty. No. Mm. Okay, you gonna eat your chicken nuggets? Yeah. Well, that goes really good on your shirt right there. That's good. All right, eat up. Okay, my opinion is that was delicious. Yeah, yeah, that was delicious. I was really kind of hesitant about the barbecue sauce. I almost skipped that part and just went with like a sweet baby raise instead because I wasn't sure that a homemade barbecue sauce was gonna be good. I am so glad that I decided to go with that barbecue sauce, even though I've got a photo bomber over here making <laughs> funny faces because it was delicious, it was so good. I very much recommend making the barbecue sauce if you make the ribs, because it was really good. <laughs> that dinner was so good. Yum, mm. Who ate their dinner all up? Me. Everybody. <laughs> Me. Everybody ate it, huh? Mm -hmm. Me. I didn't eat Yeah, one. so was the potatoes or the meat better? Meat. Both. The ribs were wait, wait. awesome, but my Barbara. favorite chicken, part, chicken, that's chicken, what I was gonna say. Chicken. The chickens were good. I was gonna say the meat, the, the ribs were good, the meat was good, but I really, really enjoyed that barbecue sauce. That was so I, good. I could, you Eat all it. are wrong. My favorite part was the meal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm just a strong chat with your brain. Good night.